and uh, I'm a retired intelligence officer and flyer with almost 5,000 hours and uh, I didn't believe in UFOs until London Control called us in the winter of 1962 and asked us would we chase one and we said sure so we let down from 30,000 feet to a thousand feet where the UFO was hovering and we went into a steep dive and actually exceeded the uh, red line of the aircraft so it's kind of dangerous changing UFOs any case, uh, I was able to get the UFO on the aircraft radar at about 40 miles, and we could see a light out in the distance, and as we closed, we kept on picking up this radar return. The point I'm mentioning that the radar return was very uh, distinct and uh, solid, indicating it was some kind of a metallic object. We got about a mile from the UFO, and it kind of lit up in the sky and went off into space, very similar to what the shuttle looks like when it takes off. Um, later on, I was working in intelligence in Vietnam. I briefed uh, General Brown about UFOs when I was in um, 21st Air Force, in McGuire Air Force Base. I briefed General Glau about a UFO over Tehran, Iran, in 1976. The two F-4s from the Iranian Air Force had taken off and try to intercept the UFO and when they turned on their fire control systems they immediately went on all the electrical systems went out the planes had to return to base this was particularly significant because it was also picked up on satellites in 1978 on January 18th I was going into the base every morning I did the uh, briefing to the general staff and I noticed that uh, there are some lights off in the distance at the end of the end runway there. And when I got into the command post, the um, senior master sergeant in charge said that there had been UFOs in the pattern all night. They're on radar. The tower had seen them. They got an aircraft reports and so on. And that one had landed or crashed at um, Fort Dix. Fort Dix and McGuire are right together. And this is kind of like the Roswell of the East. But in any case, uh, an alien had come off the craft and had been shot by a military policeman and apparently was wounded and was heading for McGuire. So for whatever reason, the uh, aliens liked uh, the Air Force better than the Army, perhaps, because they're <laughs> shooting at them. But in any case, uh, our security police went out there and um, found him on the end of the runway dead. And uh, they asked me to brief the general staff, uh, General Tom Sadler, and um, at the 8 o'clock stand-up briefing. And I said, I don't think I want to do this. You know, the general doesn't have a good sense of humor, and I'm not sure I, I believe this. So I did some checking, called the 438th Command Post, and everybody had pretty much the same story. And uh, at 8 o'clock that morning, just before I went on, was going to brief this, and I was very worried about it. They said, don't brief it, that it's too hot, so to speak. That's pretty much my story, and I'm prepared to tell the story in front of Congress, and uh, it is the truth. Now, because of this, I stayed interested in UFOs, and I'm the Eastern Director of the Mutual UFO Network, and between the uh, National Reporting Center and Peter Davenport and the MUFON, we get 100 reports a week on average of people from all over the United States that see these things regularly. And if you start checking, they're out there and they're low and people are seeing them all the time. And these are highly qualified people, all of whom essentially give us the reports by email. Thank you.